This morning, it is the first day unlike any other for kids in the Queen Creek Unified School District. And Olivia, of course, the crayons, pencils and paper are still going to be around, but so will masks, hand sanitizer, social distancing. So in just about 20 minutes, classes get started at Queen Creek High School. I don't know if there'll be any crayons there, but that's where Maria is this morning, getting reaction to the first day back in school. Good morning. Good morning. It is a very big day in the Queen Creek Unified School District, and right now we are watching parent drop off. The line is starting to get a bit longer. You can see it clogging up here in the middle lane. They are making a left. You see the school bus there, too. So school buses are still running. And I want to swing you this way. Not only do we have the drop off line happening right now, but we do have a group of parents here with signs. They are in support of students returning to in person learning. They have signs saying, Welcome back. So that's what it looks like here out. Queen Creek High School. This is located off of 220th Street in Ocotillo. And this morning, I want to introduce you to a parent who is also in support of all this. This is Andrea Pollock and her son, Nathan. He is going to be a junior at Queen Creek High School. And so I just want to bring you in and talk to you about your decision, why you felt comfortable bringing your son to high school, even though this the Queen Creek Unified School District has not met the state health benchmarks. Well, I, I know my son will be fine in school. I've sent him with masks and disinfectants. I have, um, we've been in this school district for 17 years, and I have confidence in our school that they're doing the best thing for our students. Nathan, how do you feel about coming back? What it's, what's it been really like over the last few months uh, trying to learn online? Uh, it's been really lonely at home, sitting in the Zoom classes. And I feel like it's just better overall if you just go into class and learn there. And my parents sent me with extra masks and disinfectants, so I think I could stay safe. All right, Andrea, what do you have to say to parents who are criticizing your decision? Um, they are saying that, well, if students do get the coronavirus, if there's some sort of outbreak in Queen Creek, that could impact other school districts and other counties across, or other school districts in Maricopa County. What's your response to them? Um, I know what's best for my family. We've spoke to Nathan about it and got his input on it, and he wants to go to school. The other thing is, is those that are very opposed to going back to school, they've told me that I'm stupid, I'm an idiot, uneducated, and he's going to come home in a body bag. I don't think that's right, because I know what's best for my family, and we would support him either way on what his decision was, but he's ready to go back. All right, sounds like a mom empowering her son to go and learn. So I know the bell rings any minute now. Well, at 725, I know it's going to take you a while to walk across the street. So thank you so much for joining us this morning. I do want to show you video real quick of what the school district sent to me of the buses. They are still running buses this morning. They are uh, trying to adhere to social distancing guidelines. They have hand sanitizer on the buses as well, and they're disinfecting both uh, before the kids get on and after the kids get on as well. So a, a couple of facts. The district tells me that out of the 10,000 students enrolled, only 14% of them are online. And so those 14%, they will not be showing up to class today in person. So parents who don't think it's safe to return argue that if kids get sick with coronavirus from going back to school too soon, it could impact again that positivity rate, making everyone in Maricopa County wait a little bit longer. So again, the action is starting. All eyes on Queen Creek this morning and the high school. Again, about the bell about to ring at 725 to get kids back in-person learning.